Hi all, I hope you're all keeping well in uh, in lockdown or semi-lockdown as it is now. Um, slightly different video this time, we're just going to do a uh, really part one of a review. Um, going to uh, We purchased some external screens for Harry, had Harry for about uh, 18 months now and we bought the internal screens on the front and the side. Um, and we've been uh, watching, uh, you know, looking at other people, what they do, what they have and that. And uh, we were interested in external screens. And what we think we're going to end up doing is probably using both um, certain circumstances. Because I think there's some things where maybe when you are camping, you might want to, if you have to drive away uh, without having to get out of the van from a security, if you feel a bit like that, we'll be able to use the internal ones. And maybe on the external screens, uh, maybe more on, on a site. I don't know. Um, so anyway, we bought, uh, we've been looking around and doing some research. Um, and as ever there's loads of stuff out there and there's probably two or three companies we narrowed it down to um, and we were looking at the reviews and we've gone from uh, probably at the higher end of the review but only be uh, a higher end of the range rather um, uh, only because we didn't find any negative reviews whereas the others we started to see the odd one um, and I think that influenced us more so we've gone and paid a bit more it's uh, it's the rainbow screens so it's part one in as much as I'm just going to un unpack it and arrange it and obviously at some stage when we can stay, start to go out there we'll do a review X months into using it uh, pros and cons what we're hoping is we'll possibly get less condensation uh, and obviously because it's an all-in-one um, maybe it's a bit quicker to put up and that so we'll, we'll be showing you uh, that in the course of this video. This looks like it uh, comes in a, a nice uh, bag. We've just gone for the um, the plain grey, we went for a grey to go in uh, colourless with Harry, but you can actually pay more and you can have uh, our logos, you can have eyes and have all sorts of uh, things that they do. If you go onto the website, it's pretty good the website, obviously you can uh, select your van and uh, obviously the, your model, it'll give you the price and obviously if you start to add extras like, like the visuals, uh, and like the eyes and all that type of stuff and the faces and the images that's on there, that'll cost you a bit more. So it looks like it comes in a, uh, a good bag because that will we'll put this above Harry, that's really key. So. Looks like it's uh, really well constructed and uh, sewn from what I can see. So that's the uh, the all-in-one. Um, I'll show you how we put it on. There's a Velcro here to go around the, the wing mirror by the looks of it. Also Velcro down here. And that's because I think you can do the you can lift, lift the top. So I've I've gone for the so you've got the screen at the front of it for uh, a visual, so you can uh, lift it up rather. Um, so in the morning, instead of having to take the whole thing off, you could lift, just, just take that, that front piece up by the looks of it. So we're going for this dark grey. So it's rainbowscreens.co.uk. So a month later, after lockdown, we managed to escape to Mid Wales to try the screen out for the first time. It took me a little while to figure out the best way to get the screen on, but now having done it a few times in our five counties getaway, we've got it down to a few minutes. The screens fit tightly, especially around the doors, which need to only to be opened a small amount to allow the inner sleeve to slip over the top of the door. The screen definitely feels a good quality with a thick thermal feel to them. In the few trips we have had in late summer and early autumn, so far no condensation is apparent. With respect to blackout from the inside, it's certainly a lot better than the internal screens, so we're quite pleased with that. One thing we're definitely glad of is that we went for the front fold down flap which allows you to leave the screens on all day, but still allow lighting. I think without this, if you were on site for a few days, I think we'd probably end up removing them to allow light into Harry. So I think I'd definitely recommend this option. So one unexpected multiple use for the screens we discovered on our five counters trip was to actually use the screens over the back of the barn doors. It gave us some cover, especially in light rain, allowing us to access the back and also to dry clothes and that. As you know guys, it's always nice to have a man cave to escape to. Perhaps next time I'll take a dartboard as well.
So for quality, we're going to give it a 5 out of 5 gi score. It's well made with a very thick padding to it. With respect to the fit of the screen, we're going to give it a 4 gi score, which is good as far as we're concerned. With respect to blackout, we're going to give it a good solid 4 geese. And finally, with respect to value for money, which really should be scored over time, uh, but I expect this to last uh, many years. So based on the quality, I can't see why this wouldn't be the case. So on that basis, again, we're going to give this a good solid 4 geese score. Overall, we're really pleased with the product and we would definitely recommend it. I hope you found this short video useful and if you have, please give us a thumbs up and subscribe to ensure that you are alerted to future videos. Sign and